Welcome to the Crypto Sphere. This is Cryptogenic coming at you. Today is Saturday, January 23rd, and I've got a quick thought that I've got to drop and then I've got to run. Don't have much time tonight, but wanted to give you this thought before I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. This is the thought. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to go back to January of 2017 and buy XRP at the bottom of this wick for $0.00311 or 0.3 cents, like a third of a cent, one third of a cent. Wouldn't that be awesome to buy XRP at one third of a cent? Which means that when it gets to three cents, it's already 10 x which means that when it gets to 30 cents, it's already 100 x And when it gets all the way over here to its all-time high of $3.30, it's more than 1,000 x You could literally have 1,000 timed your money in the space of one year if you could buy XRP at one-third of a cent. Wouldn't that be crazy? I mean, because when you look at this, we're at 27 cents now. That's already almost 100x. Higher than it was costing back then. So in a sense, we've kind of missed the boat. You could have bought it for a third of a cent. Now you're buying it at like 30 cents. Right? Kind of sad. I wish I could go back in time. However, when you look at this on the BTC chart, XRP BTC, buying it in Bitcoin instead of U.S. dollars, it's a completely different picture. Because if you go all the way back here to 2017 when it was at its bottom, it was at 423 Satoshis. That was the cheapest it ever was, except actually this wick over here goes all the way down to like 240 satoshis so buying it at 240 satoshis and now we're at 840 satoshis which is 4x which is much different than 100x meaning that if you look at its value in terms of bitcoin buying it now holding it now is like going all the way back to 2017 and buying it then. And secondly, when you look at the upside against Bitcoin, all the way up here at 24,000 Satoshis, and we're down here at 842 Satoshis, you're talking about about a 4,000% differential there. Now, I know this whole concept of buying it against Bitcoin instead of buying it against the U.S. dollar is hard for a lot of people to understand. The reason why this is hard for a lot of people to understand is because we still think in terms of dollars and cents, and we don't realize that the entire financial market of the world really has been turned on its head by this whole crypto revolution. Entering into this crypto space means we got to begin to think in terms of satoshis instead of dollars and cents. We got to begin to recognize that the Bitcoin value of an asset is the actual value of the asset. Looking at the Bitcoin chart, we've gone all the way back to the beginning in terms of XRP. The USD chart doesn't actually show you its value. What I'm saying is that if you want to look at the real value of this thing, look at it against Bitcoin, not against the US dollar. Now, I want you to think about this and let's translate this back into US dollars. Let's say that XRP goes back to its all-time high against Bitcoin to where it cost 24,000 Satoshis to buy one XRP. All right, 24,000 Satoshis buys one XRP. How many Satoshis per Bitcoin would that be? Okay, one divided by 0.00024 equals 4,166 XRP in one Bitcoin at 24,000 Satoshis. If Bitcoin cost a hundred thousand dollars, one hundred thousand divided by forty one sixty six, you're talking about a twenty four dollar XRP. 
if against Bitcoin, we go all the way up to 24,000, and if Bitcoin is at 100,000 when we get there, XRP is 24 bucks. And that's only if we stop at its previous all-time high. I think that in this next altcoin season, when the good news comes from the SEC, which I think is going to be sooner than a lot of people think it is, we're going to see XRP explode, and it's going to break its all-time high, not just, not just against the U.S. dollar, because that honestly doesn't mean a whole lot, but it's going to break its all-time high against Bitcoin. And that means a whole lot. So keep that in mind. That's my opinion. That's my perspective, not my advice. I think when that happens, it's going to make us a whole lot of money. The profit margin is tremendous. All right, that's all I got for you tonight. Uh, Monday's video is going to go deeper into some technical analysis of some stuff. I just wanted to encourage you to hold strong. And I pray that each of you would sleep in peace every night, wake in joy every morning, and walk in love every day. This is Cryptogenic, signing out.